It's been over two years since the release of ChatGPT, and there has not been a moment since then like this one with the release of DeepSeek R1. And in this video, I'm gonna explain it to you as simply as I can if you're brand new to this whole world of AI. So there's a company out of China called DeepSeek and they recently released an AI model called R1. And R1 has been completely disruptive. In just one day, it completely tanked the US stock market taking $1 trillion of market value off the table. So why is that? And then I'll show you exactly how it works and how it compares with other AI models that are available right now. The reason why it caused such an effect in the US stock market is because DeepSeek claims that they trained DeepSeek R1 for about $5 million. So to put that into perspective, ChatGPT, when they create models, their best one right now is called O1. That model probably cost over a hundred times that amount. I'm sure it cost hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars to train a model like that. Google is training models like that. Meta has models like that. And all those companies are spending tens, if not hundreds of billions of dollars to train these AI models. So when a new startup claimed that they did it for $5 million and it's as good as the best models available right now from the top AI companies and tech companies in the world, it completely shocked the tech world. Okay, so now what is DeepSeek R1 exactly? Well, there's this website right over here, chat.deepseek.com, where you could use the new DeepSeek R1 model completely for free. And the way it works is, if you ever use ChatGPT and you type out a prompt, you will get a reply. With R1, what it does is before it gives you a reply, it thinks through the process first and then it gives you a reply. So here I asked it a question, is Tesla stock a good buy right now? And it was also able to search the web to find some results, which is an option down here that I could turn on. But then it actually went through and this is the thinking process, which took 15 seconds before he gave me an answer. This entire gray part was the thinking. And the white section here is where he actually gave me an answer and then gave me a conclusion here if he thinks Tesla is a good buy right now for the stock. So ChatGPT also has a very similar model here. I'm on the chatgpt.com website now, and that is called ChatGPT01. That is an advanced reasoning model. So DeepSeek R1 is also an advanced reasoning model. That's not what they call other AIs, like the regular ChatGPT is actually powered by another model called GPT-40. This is what powers the regular ChatGPT. The O1 is for reasoning tasks. So they still have their place. You will still use the regular ChatGPT for almost everything, but if you need more advanced reasoning, you will turn on O1. And in order to use this ChatGPT O1 inside of ChatGPT.com, it is a paid upgrade. You cannot use this for free. This will cost you $20 a month, and it's still very limited on how often you could use it. They do have a unlimited version of O1. Now I have it in my different account here. This version of it is unlimited and they have even a better version called O1 Pro Mode. But in order to get this one, unlimited use of O1 and O1 Pro Mode, which are the best available model right now, and unlimited use of that is $200 a month, which is what I'm paying for this account. But in the chat website from DeepSeek, that R1 reasoning model, is 100% free. They actually don't even have a way to pay for it. Now, why would you wanna use a reasoning model? Let me show you a really good use case for it here. I'm gonna search for current inflation rates in the US, UK, and Canada. Based on these trends, suggest which currency might strengthen the most by the end of the year and why. Now, this question is gonna require a lot of thinking, right? So typical chat GPT response is not gonna be good enough. And then on top of that, this DeepSeek website actually lets you search and reasoning at the same time. So if I turn this on and if I turn on reasoning, it will combine the two. Something you can't do inside of ChatGPT, even with any of their paid version right now. If you use reasoning inside of ChatGPT, you don't also get search. And if I send this out, now it actually goes through the process it does the web search and then he thinks through the process step by step. Now this process in the AI world is called chain of thoughts, where it actually thinks through like a human would 
before they respond. And it usually is not instant. It will take some time. Sometimes it could take two, three minutes of thinking, depending on how complex of a question you're asking it. And it will kind of lay out its reasoning here in this format. And then it will give you the response over here. If you have search, it will give you the sources and you hover over the sources to see where you got that information from. And on the bottom, it gives you the conclusion. The US dollar is poised to strengthen the most by the end of 2025. Now for any model like R1 or O1 that uses reasoning and that step-by-step -step thinking, you could use it for decision-making. It's great use case for that. You could use it for problem solving. You could also use it for ethical reasoning or predictions, making predictions in the future. So it's like talking to a really smart human, but you don't want them to just immediately give you an answer. You want them to take a moment, think about it, and then give their best expert answer after they think through the problem step by step. Now, people are bringing up a lot of issues when it comes to the privacy. And since this company is based out of China, I went through their privacy policy and I also went through their terms of use policy. So I wanna point out a few different things. So I actually asked ChatGPT to go through that document for me to point out any red flags. So when it comes to their privacy policy, the policy states that the data is stored on servers in the People's Republic of China. This could raise concern in users in jurisdictions with stricter data protection laws, like the ones in the EU, for example. And then right here, data stored in China may be subject to local government surveillance law, right? So if you use that website, this is the term of service of that website. Broad data collection, the company collects extensive user data, including keystroke patterns, okay, IP addresses, device IDs, and even data from third-party sources like advertisers. Some of that data collection might be excessive for the stated purpose of providing a chatbot service. Data retention, data is retained for as long as necessary with no clear limits or timeline. This could raise concerns about prolonged retention of personal data. There is no explicit mention of encryption. The policy lacks details in whether the sensitive information, passwords, payment information is encrypted, leaving security very unclear. There is also some level of censorship issues. So if I asked it what happened in Tenement Square in 1989, sorry, I'm not sure how to approach this type of a question yet. Let's chat about math coding and logic problems. But if I ask ChatGPT the exact same question, obviously it's gonna give me an answer. If I Google it, I'm obviously gonna get an answer. Now, DeepSeek R1 is also an open source model. So if you want to not worry about all those privacy issues and not use their website, you could actually download this and run it on your computer. A little bit more technical to do that but you can do it. Now in the world of software, there's closed and there is open. The open source things are where the code is available for download. So anyone like myself could download it and run it locally on any type of computer. I could run it literally on my laptop right now, which I have done. But closed source means the company's code is the company's code. They're not gonna make it available to look at. They're not gonna make it available to download. If you wanna use their technology and their code, well, you typically have to use it on their website. And in the case of O1, the reasoning model from OpenAI, the way you would use that is you would have to pay to get access to it. And that's another reason why this has been so disruptive. These other models, like any model that ChatGPT has, those are not open source. You cannot download them. So the fact that there is something just as good that can be downloaded and can be run locally is a complete game changer in the world of AI as well. So just to recap, a company out of China called DeepSeek has released a new AI model called DeepSeek R1. It rivals the best available model from the US, which is OpenAI's O1 model. That is the creator of ChatGPT. OpenAI is the company behind ChatGPT. The O1 model is a reasoning AI model. So it thinks through step-by-step step before it answers any type of a question. And the DeepSeek R1 model does the exact same thing. Now, the big difference, OpenAI's O1 model probably costs billions of dollars to train, where DeepSeek claims that R1 only cost $5 million to train. And then they made DeepSeek R1 open source so anyone could download and use it locally on their computer with different types of sizes based on your computer speed. 
ChatGPT cannot be used that way at all. It is in no way open source and it will have to be used on the ChatGPT website for the most part. And the reason why it had such a big impact on the US stock market is because tech companies are spending billions of dollars, at some point trillions of dollars, to build data centers to handle AI. And if companies could train really good top of line AI models for a few million dollars, it completely disrupts everything we know about training AI models at the highest level. And if you're brand new to the world of AI, I made a 100% free course called the 14 day AI bootcamp that walks you through the top AI tools and practical use cases for each one in just 14 lessons. I'll include that in the description below this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.